All right, guys, so today's video is another challenge video. Pretty much what we're gonna be doing is a frog video, frog challenge video. I've got five frogs with me that I typically use, some more than others, but basically the challenge is to use five different frogs and catch a bass on each one. So let's go over quickly what we have for frog selection. First one you probably recognize is a Booyah Pad Crasher. This is a half ounce. This is kind of my finesse frog. So when we see some open water, some you know sparse vegetation with some pretty big pockets, we'll probably throw this guy. Frog number two is our matte frog. This is a live target frog. I really like this color, just real natural. So this is the big, big frog that uh, displaces a lot of water, displaces a lot of mats. So when we find those thick mats that we need a bigger frog for, that's my go-to frog. That's our second frog. Our third frog is gonna be our buzzing frog. So this is a Bobby's Perfect Buzz frog. We've got the kick and tails and of course the prop on the front. Looks like we have some wind today, so this uh, should get some bites. Frog number four is another Booyah Pad Crasher, but this is our poppin' version. So this frog will pop and bubble and definitely a good frog to have every so often. And our fifth and final frog is our spin tail frog or the Teckel Sprinker frog. So we've got that spinning tail. This stays pretty weedless, so we can, st can still fish this over grass. Yeah, those are our five frogs for today. And take a look. No clue how the fishing is going to be. No clue how the topwater bite is going to be. So we're just going to cross our fingers and hopefully land a fish on each one of those frogs. Quick little sneak peek for you guys. Take a look at that. You guys have probably heard of the Yak Attack Black Pack. Well, that's a Yak Attack Black Pack on steroids, basically. Call them that the tackle trunk. Sneak peek, sneak peek. Batteries. Outlets. Torquedo outlets. Yeah, that's pretty sick. All right, it's about seven o'clock in the morning, but I want to utilize the morning bite for the possible buzz frog bite. Well, there's a lot of fish underneath me. <laughs> I don't know what those are. Well, that's a lot of them. I love the action on it. It is awesome and it comes through cover like really good. I don't know how the hookup's gonna be and I don't know how long those little plastic tails are gonna hold up. So hopefully we can get an answer to that today. Okay, so it's been about an hour and we've only got one bite on the buzzing frog. So back here now and there is a lot of thick mats. So we're going with the mat frog. Perfect. I guarantee there's a fish under there. We just gotta make it bite. <laughs> I was not ready for that bite. It, that like made me jump. Totally not ready for that bite. with that buzzing frog and why I knew it would be the hardest frog to catch him on was because it's just the biggest frog I have and a lot of these bites are little fish and they're not gonna get the whole thing in their mouth but finally got one frog out of the way booyah pad crasher of course the finesse frog that's a toad back to the buzzing frog it's a big bait uh, little 8 12 inch fish Hookup ratio is not going to be so great, so it just needs to be a bigger bite, and that's why I know it would be the tough tough bait to get a bite on. So I'm getting a ton of blow-ups on this. They're just small fish. Yeah, like this right here. Yeah, I like the next one, but so like this little clump, like on that side is where I'm getting bites. And I think they're just in the reeds looking 
into the current and they're seeing this go by and they come out and swipe at it. Talking to Mike, you guys know Mike, but uh, hey, he choked that! Look at that. That little guy choked the popping frog. How big was it? This is about a solid eight inches. <laughs> Dude, giant! All right, folks, that's two out of the five frogs, <laughs> the two smallest frogs, which makes sense because these fish are not so big. All right, two out of the five. It's insane, like that was finally a decent one, I think. They're just not getting the whole bait in their mouth. Oh gosh. Just gotta get that big one with a big old bucket mouth to get this entire bait in there when it bites. Be complete. bored of throwing the frog. <laughs> I had to go to my confidence bait. I was just not getting bites. Rage menace. What's up little guy? He's got something in his mouth. He's got a crawfish in his mouth. <laughs> He's curious. I think he wants to get in the boat. <laughs> Jeez. getting pretty warm out so decided to call it a day you know it went okay uh got fish on three out of the five frogs couldn't get one on the tackle got a bunch of bites on the tackle just couldn't get one to eat the bait couldn't get one on the the mat frog the bigger frog and that's mainly because i couldn't really fish it uh i was really only wanting to fish that bait when i found you know matted 
vegetation or duckweed or you know thick stuff and there just wasn't a lot of that out there today so I couldn't I didn't fish it a lot but you know I've always kind of been not against these challenge videos but uh, I just wasn't interested in doing them and you know I'm actually I did the summer bait challenge and now I did uh, the frog challenge but I'm actually having a lot of fun with them they're kind of it's, it's kind of fun just to mix things up so I'll tell you what if you guys are interested in more of these videos uh, leave a comment below let me know what particular challenge video you want me to do and I'll make a deal with you the first comment that gets 25 likes for an, another challenge idea I'll do that one so make sure you let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below and make sure you like the one that uh, you want to see so that's the video for today guys thank you guys for watching and have a great day and we'll see ya